All right, if you want to increase your sales and merchant cash advance and increase the, uh, the amount of deals that you fund, there are four rules that you need to follow. Uh, after working with hundreds of professionals from merchant cash advance industry, being the leading company in the lead, in lead generation and the sales uh, of merchant cash advance companies, we've seen a pattern as to why some companies uh, succeed at a massive level or some salespeople always have the higher commissions or they, they fund bigger deals than the other ones. And we also had an opportunity to see why so many professionals in this area fail quite a bit. Merchant Cash Advance is one of the biggest failure rates in the industry and we know exactly why that's the case. So since it seems like you're looking for a way to either close more deals and you're looking for a better sales script or you're, you're trying to have an understanding as to what you need to do to close more deals consistently I'm gonna give you four rules that you need to follow all right so listen up closely the first one is you need to have a really solid understanding of your industry I know it sounds um, common sense but sometimes common sense is not so common I came across so many salespeople who really do, do not have a, a comprehensive level of understanding about merchant cash advance industry. I'm not saying that you need to be a perfectionist and know the deal flow and how everything gets approved and whatnot, but you need to know it enough to be able to simplify it for your clients. Because when a client gets to you, they might be in one of three different areas. The first one, first level, is that they might have no idea what merchant cash advance is. All they want is they want to get a business loan. So they don't, they don't know what a SBA loan is, or working capital is, or equipment loan is, or merchant cash advance is, right? They might be at that level. So for you to be able to take someone from that level to the point of feeling comfortable with you, so they, they say okay to a high interest rate uh, advance, you need to know what you're talking about. You need to be really clear on the process, what merchant cash advance is, what it is not, and be able to convey that in very simple terms and not make it complicated. And for that to happen, at a deeper level, you need to have a good understanding of what business you're in right now okay so that's really important so know your product know your service know the market that you're in many salespeople fail at that level because when they're presenting the idea they even make it complicated for themselves how would the how would the client feel about it uh, the second type of audience when they come to you they might already know about merchant cash advance versus other loans they're just looking for the right company so the way you talk to that company is much different. And the third level of client is they already understand uh, merchant cash advance. They know the big, big players in this, in this arena and they wanna find out if you're the right company. So it's already a warm, very warm lead and they don't need to be told about merchant cash advance. They just wanna see if you're trustworthy enough for them, they can do business with you. So the first rule is know, your, know the products, understand merchant cash advance industry. The second type, many people make the mistake of pretty much using the same script for every type of situation. Like under, under the first rule, I talk to you about customers being at different levels. So each of those levels require a, a different type of approach and a script. And also, how you're communicating with these clients are what, what, what avenue are you using to communicate with them is really important. Are you cold calling them on the phone? Are you cold calling them in person? Are you reaching out to them as a result of a direct mail campaign your company did or you did yourself as a company owner? Or is it coming through a live transfer? Or is it coming from a cold email sequence that you're doing email marketing and someone responds? So you cannot just take your one script that you use and try to fit customers into that one. It just doesn't work that way because they you meet them at different levels. You gotta meet them where they are. So the new number two is depending on the medium that you're using to target your prospects, you gotta have a customized approach, customized script and customized set of questions. That's number two. Number three, have a solid sales process in place. I know it's almost cliche, you gotta have a good sales system in place, but it is truly important. You cannot always wing it. As salespeople, that's one of our favorite things to do when we get stuck, we kind of wing it until, until we cross the bridge and we get the deal done. But in the long term, it doesn't really serve you well. You need to be using proven scripts that, that work, that convert deals. And those scripts can be in the form of you know, telemarketing on the phone, or when you're in person, or when you're doing an email uh, you know, follow-up, follow-through, uh, or the initial introduction. So for every 
every scenario, you got to have your script book, your sales book in place. And the organizations that do not have that, they need to have that in place. That's if you're managing a team, that's pretty much how you manage them. If they're following that system, they, they better get consistent results. One of the biggest things that hurt emerging cash advanced companies is the inconsistency. One month you're funding maybe a million dollars, you know, 10 deals, 15 deals. Month two, it can drop down to two, three deals and you have no idea what that happened. Well, there are many factors, but one of the factors is your sales team or yourself if you're selling, you're not following a systematic process, sales process. You're trying different things and you kind of reinvent the wheel. In, in merchant cash advance, I'll give you news, it, it, is, it is a relatively old industry and things have been figured out. There are companies that are funding deals like crazy. So there is no need for you to go ahead and try to create your own sales system. It's been done. All you have to do is replicate what's really working and just you know add your character to it, but just do it over and over and over again. It's truly rinse and repeat. It's got to get to a point that it's almost boring that you're doing the same thing. But it can be as simple as that, but many salespeople, many sales managers make it more complicated than it is. You've got to have a system in writing. And if you're training yourself or your people, you got to stick to it. You can't just keep playing around with that. So that's number three. Number four and the last one is follow up and follow through. I know it's another cliche term, you got to follow up, but there's so much money left on the table, especially when it comes to merchant cash advance. Don't forget that this industry is highly sales oriented. And many salespeople are usually good at one or at most two things. So they might be good at opening, they might be good at closing, but they, you know, they, and they might be really good at follow up. But it's, it's very uncommon that they're really good at all those three, four different areas. So when you, whether, you, whether you're training someone, whether you're selling yourself, you got to put a lot of emphasis on follow up. In Merchant Cash Advance, um, it takes six to ten touch points for someone for you to take someone from cold to a point of funding a deal. So when you know that on the get-go, you know that when you call a lead once or twice, that's just not enough. Also, follow-up doesn't mean that calling the same lead 15 times a day. You're, you're badgering them and you're disrespecting their time. That's not a follow-up. Just like having your scripts, there's a process of follow-up. When you're doing a phone call, there needs to be an email follow-up. And if your system allows you to do it, there's, there's, there's got to be a text message follow-up. It can be voicemail, so you got to switch it around. And the, the other person might should, might should feel like you're a professional, you know what you're doing, you're keeping your distance, but at the same time, you just keep reminding them why they need to work with you. So if we just you know go back and summarize it, step number one, know your industry, know your product because you don't know who you're talking to. Someone could be really knowledgeable. You gotta be, you gotta be the authority in, uh, on the phone or in person to be able to close a deal. Uh, rule number two, understand, customize your approach based on the medium that you're using, how you're reaching out to these clients. Number three, uh, have a systematic sales process. Number four, have a systematic follow-up and follow-through process. So if you do, if you get these four steps right, I can guarantee you that you're not gonna have much of a sales problem. You might have a lead generation or a marketing problem, but when you do get opportunities, your closing percentage will be super consistent and, and you're not gonna have these dips and roller coasters every month. Now, if you do not have uh, the resources to find these systems and gather it together. If you do not have your sales book, if you do not have a follow-up, follow-through process, maybe we're just starting out with the industry. Uh, we do have a resource called uh, Merchant Cash Advance uh, uh, Success Blueprint. You're going to see a link for that one. If this video answers your question, answers your questions, but you want all those resources at your arsenal, we put it together for you as a package. So you're going to see a link at the bottom of this video. Click on that, find out what it is inclusive of. It's pretty much created based on our, our the pattern of behavior that we see throughout all of our clients because we work with hundreds of MCA uh, you know manager salespeople and MCA companies out there. We kind of know what works and what doesn't work, and we finally noticed that this industry needs this uh, because there's such a demand for the product itself. But many salespeople are not really sales professionals. They just think that they can close harder and it's just going to work out better. But there is a way for you to consistently make higher commissions. We package it together. See the link below. To
to see if it is something for you, but highly re recommend that you, you take a look at it and get it uh, for yourself, for your company, for your staff, and you know, whoever is in charge of the sale. And I hope to see you on the other side. Take care.